reasons the festival has such respect the world over is because you keep taking risks. It's a great honor to be here in Toronto. I know how lucky all filmmakers are to be invited here to show their work. Scott Speedman is Eddie Boyd. Mr. Jonathan Demme and Neil Young. Welcome to the North American premiere of David Cronenberg's A Dangerous Method. You have never seen Wuthering Heights like you will see it tonight. Bring out your favorite son first, Ryan Gosling. It's a real thrill for all of us to be here. It's a diverse and wonderful celebration of cinema. Good evening, and thank you for watching my movie. It makes me very happy to see people curious enough to come to see a silent black and white movie. Premiering a movie that took me 20 years to make in front of 2,000 people makes me want to cry. When an audience goes into a theater, they want to be entertained, they want to be pulled into a story. The Toronto Film Festival feels very close and very sort of family-like, so it's, it's really quite special to be here. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Piers Handling, Director and CEO of TIFF. And I'm Cameron Bailey, Artistic Director of the Toronto International Film Festival. We are happy to be hosting our annual festival kickoff event for the first time in our home, TIFF Bell Lightbox. The realization of this home was fueled by a dream of ours. This same dream has seen our festival grow into one of the most important film festivals and cultural events in the world. We measure the success of our festival against many factors. It is the films we showcase, the audience reaction to those films, the talent that emerges, and the attention the films attract from the industry and the media. We also measure our success against the support we provide and the international spotlight we shine on our healthy Canadian industry and the homegrown filmmakers who are working coast to coast on impressive and compelling stories. For 37 years, we've strived for success and have been driven to improve the experience for audiences year after year. 44 days from today, the 2012 Toronto International Film Festival will kick off and we are certain you will be excited by what we have in store for you. We're certainly excited right now. Uh, we take very seriously the responsibility that comes with our festival, more than just 11 days of incredible cinema. The festival is uh, a venue for discovering and supporting both established and new talent. This year's selection features emerging filmmakers from around the world uh, who are changing the face of cinema. They're true artists. They're daring and visionary, and for many, our festival is their chance to show their films to the world. We're excited by this new talent and proud to be showcasing their work in Toronto. Now, similar to last year, TIFF Bell Lightbox, right here, will be the heart of this year's festival. We will host public and press and industry screenings, events, red carpet premieres, and industry programming under our roof. We'll welcome audiences, uh, filmmakers, press, and industry delegates from around the world. TIFF Bell Lightbox will also be home to more than 1,200 international media during the festival as we host press screenings, the press office, red carpets, and the screening library. This year, festival press conferences will be held on the main floor of this building in the HSBC Gallery. Did I mention that it's going to be on the main floor? So, no <laughs> elevators. I know many of you in, here in this room and watching live from around the world are pleased to hear that. Before we announce what all of you have been waiting for, we would like to acknowledge the following organizations for their valued support. Our lead sponsor, Bell. Our major sponsors, RBC, L'Oréal, Paris, Visa, and Audi. Our major supporters, the province of Ontario, Telefilm Canada, and the city of Toronto. Our industry major supporters, the Ontario Media Development Corporation and Telefilm Canada. We would also like to thank our returning and new sponsors who support creates and supports unforgettable festival experiences for our audiences. The 37th annual Toronto International Film Festival brings with it some exciting changes and some new developments as well. Many of these improvements are the result of feedback we've received from festival attendees and some from you also. Uh, we've introduced a number of festival ticket packages and have moved our ticket package selection and redemption process online. Since 1978, Toronto audiences have been voting for their favorite festival films. In many cases, the films selected by audiences here have gone on to win critical acclaim and to win big in awards season as well. 
Past winners, of course, include Slumdog Millionaire, The King's Speech, and Eastern Promises. We're thrilled that BlackBerry has joined us this year as the sponsor of our BlackBerry People's Choice Awards. This year, for the first time, uh, voting for the BlackBerry People's Choice Award will be possible online, as well as at the theater, which will make it easier for our audiences to recognize their favorites. Earlier this year, we announced a new screening venue, the newly renovated Bloor Hot Doc Cinema. This will be host to Vanguard Films and also to documentaries. This September, we're thrilled to be partnering with the Bloor once again. We're also incredibly proud to be presenting the Asian Film Summit at the Shangri-La Hotel in Toronto. The summit is created to be a platform for East to meet West in the film industry. On Monday, September 10th, the focus will be on fostering relationships between industry leaders, uh, generating new ideas, and identifying new op opportunities. We're excited by the possibilities and stay tuned for further programming for that Asian Film Summit. As you've seen on the screen behind us, our festival campaign this year speaks to the breadth of discoveries to be made, moments to be shared, and experiences to be had at the festival. The tagline for this year's campaign, You Are Here, speaks to the fact that the Toronto International Film Festival exists at the intersection of sometimes divergent, sometimes unexpected, but always provocative moments. When your eyes are opened, when you make that discovery, when you see a film in an entirely new way, it's because you are here. Congratulations to our in-house creative services, editorial, and marketing teams for producing such an impactful creative campaign. All of this that you see is done on the fourth and fifth floor, so we really thank the people who put that together this year. I'd also like to acknowledge our team of programmers who've been out scouting and discovering films to bring to Toronto audiences. Your work, your commitment, your knowledge, and your passion are the driving forces behind this festival, and we thank you. And now to the matter of the films. We have much more to announce in the coming weeks. However, today we are thrilled to announce that our world premiere galas will include Ben Affleck's Argo, starring Ben Affleck, Brian Cranston, and John Goodman, David O. Russell's Silver Linings Playbook, starring Bradley Cooper, Robert De Niro, and Jennifer Lawrence, Sergio Castellitos' Twice Born, starring Penelope Cruz and Emile Hirsch, Roger Michel's Hyde Park on Hudson, starring Bill Murray, Laura Linney, and Olivia uh, Williams, Gary Shinde's English of English, starring Shridevi, Shola Lynch's documentary Free Angela and All Political Prisoners, Liz Garbus's documentary Love, Marilyn, featuring Uma Thurman, Paul Giamatti, and Glenn Close, amongst many others, Mike Newell's Great Expectations, starring Ray Fiennes, Helena Bonham Carter, and Jeremy Irvin. We're also thrilled to be presenting the world premieres of two Canadian galas, Rubenada's Inescapable, starring Marissa Tomei, Joshua Jackson, and Alexander Siddig, and Ruba is here with us today. And Deepa Mehta's Midnight's Children, Deepa and cast members Anita Majundar and Zaib Sheikh are here with us today as well. Uh, can Ruba, Deepa, anyone from those two films please stand up and be acknowledged? Where are you? Great. Congratulations. Fantastic that the two galas we're announcing are both directed by women. Yep. Other galas making their North American premieres at the Toronto International Film Festival include Mira Nair's The Reluctant Fundamentalist, starring Kate Hudson, Kiefer Sutherland, Leif Schreiber, and Riz Ahmed. Robert Redford's The Company You Keep, starring Shia LaBeouf, Susan Sarandon, and Anna Kendrick. Her Jin Ho's Dangerous Liaisons, starring Zhang Ziyi, Cecilia Chung, and Zhang Dong Gun. Nikolai Arcel's A Royal Affair, starring Mads Mikkelsen and Alicia Vikander. Hideki Takeuchi's Therme Romai, starring Hiroshi Abe. Billy Bob Thornton's Jane Mansfield's Car, starring Robert Duvall, Kevin Bacon, and John Hurt. And here's a sneak peek at a couple of our gala films. Actions of Iran have shocked the civilized world. Everything. Our embassy has been seized and more than 60 American citizens continue to be held as hostages. If we're going to go, then we need to go now. What happened? The six of the hostages went out a back exit. Where are they? The Canadian ambassador's house. We've got revolutionary guards going door to door. These people die. They die badly. White House? Who wants the six of them out? What we like for this are bicycles. Deliver the six bikes, provide them with maps. 
Or you could just send in training wheels and meet them at the border with Gatorade. It's gonna take a miracle to get them out. Buddy man, what are we watching? I got an idea. They're a Canadian film crew for a science fiction movie. I fly into Tehran. We all fly out together as a film crew. I need you to help me make a fake movie. So you want to come to Hollywood and act like a big shot without actually doing anything? Yeah. You'll fit right in. You need a script? Argo, science fantasy adventure. Moonscape, Mars, desert. You need an exotic location to shoot. You need a producer. If I'm doing a fake movie, it's going to be a fake hit. You don't have a better bad idea than this? This is the best bad idea we have, sir. By far. You have 72 hours to get them out. They're getting a visitor. Have you gotten people out this way before? No. They're asking us to trust you with our lives. This is what I do, and I've never left anyone behind. I know who they are, and they know they're hiding out. It's over, Tony. If they stay here, they will be taken. Probably not alive. We're responsible for these people. I'm responsible. You really believe your little story is going to make a difference when there's a gun to our heads? I think my little story is the only thing between you and a gun to your head. In our special presentations program, we're pleased to announce the world premieres of Zaid Duary's The Attack, Neil Jordan's Byzantium, starring Gemma Arterton, Sam Riley, and Shursa Ronan, Costa Gavras's Capital, starring Gad Almale and Gabriel Byrne, Tom Tickver, Andy Wachowski, and Lana Wachowski's Cloud Atlas, starring Tom Hanks, Halle Berry, Susan Sarandon, Jim Broadbent, and Hugh Grant, Balthazar Comacher's The Deep, starring Olafur Dari Olufsen, Nishikawa Miwa's Dreams for Sale, David Ayer's End of Watch, starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Mike Pena, Laurent Cante's Foxfire, starring Ali Liebert and Tamara Hope, Noah Baumbach's Francis Ha, starring Greta Gerwig, Sally Potter's Ginger and Rosa, starring Elle Fanning, Alice Englert, uh, Christina Hendricks, and Annette Benning. And there's more. Margareta Von Trotta's Hannah Arendt, starring Janet McTeer and Barbara Sukova, Robert Pulcini and Shari Springer Berman's Imogene, starring Annette Benning, Matt Dillon, and Kristen Wiig. J.A. Bayona's The Impossible, starring Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor. Francois Ozon's In the House, starring Kristen Scott Thomas. Lutron's The Last Supper. Yaron Zilberman's A Late Quartet, starring Philip Seymour Hoffman, Imogen Poots, and Catherine Keener. 
Ben Timlett, Bill Jones, and Jeff Simpson's A Liar's Autobiography, The Untrue Story of Monty Python's Graham Chapman, starring Graham Chapman, who the late Graham Chapman, John Cleese, Terry Jones, Michael Palin, Terry Gilliam, Carol Cleveland, and Philip Bul Bulcock, Andrew Adamson's Mr. Pip, starring Mr. Uh, Hugh Laurie, Joss Whedon's Much Ado About Nothing, starring Clark Gregg, Nathan Fillion, and Spencer Treat Clark, Stephen Chbobsky's The Perks of Being a Wallflower, starring Logan Lerman, Emma Watson, and Ezra Miller, Derek Cien Francis' The Place Beyond the Pine, starring Rose Byrne, Ray Liotta, and Ava Mendez, Dustin Hoffman's Quartet, starring Maggie Smith and Bill Connolly. Stuart Bloomberg's Thanks for Sharing, starring Mark Ruffalo, Tim Robbins, and Gwyneth Paltrow. Nenad Sisson's Sains, The Time Being, starring Frank Langella, Sarah Paulson, and Wes Bentley. Mack and Baird's Venus and Serena, with Venus and Serena Williams. Josh Boone's Writers, starring Jennifer Connolly, Greg Kinnear, and Kirsten, uh, Kristen Bell. And Aaron Rickless, uh, Rickless's Zaytun, starring Stephen Dorff. Other special presentations include Stefan Brise's A Few Hours of Spring, Joe Wright's Anna Karenina, Ramin Barani's At Any Price, Chen Kaige's Caught in the Web, Marco Bellocchio's Dormant Beauty, Anna Pitterberg's Everybody Has a Plan, Thomas Vinterberg's The Hunt, Ariel Vrahman's The Iceman, Joachim Ronning and Espen Sandberg's Contiki, and Kate Shortland's Lore. Pablo Lorraine's No, Takeshi, uh, Takeshi Katano's Outrage Beyond, Matteo Garone's Reality, Jacques Odiao's Rust and Bone, Wayne Blair's The Sapphires, Ben Lewin's The Sessions, Stephen Fung's Tai Chi Zero, and Terence Malick's To the Wonder, starring Ben Affleck, Rachel McAdams, and Javier Bardem. Now here's a look at a few of the special presentations we've just announced. Dear friend, I haven't really talked to anyone outside of my family all summer, but tomorrow is my first day, and I really want to turn things around this year. You know, they say if you make one friend on your first day, you're doing okay. Hey, freshman toad! Go get him! Come on, hop! Let's move it, boys! If my English teacher is the only friend I make today, that would be sort of depressing. <laughs> So, Charlie, this is what fun looks like. Welcome to the island of misfit toys. Do you like football? Love it. Be aggressive! Passive aggressive! What is she doing? Don't worry, she does it all the time. Do you think if people knew how crazy you really were, no one would ever talk to you? <laughs> Come on, let's go be psychos together. So what are you going to do when you get out of this place? I really want to be a writer, but I don't know what I'd write about. You could write about us. Call it Slut and the Falcon. Make us solve crimes. <laughs> C-minus, ladies and gentlemen, I am below average. Below average! Below average! Why do I and everyone I love pick people who treat us like we're nothing? We accept the love we think we deserve. You see things, and you understand. You're a wallflower. I didn't think anyone noticed me. I know there are people who say all these things don't happen. I know these will all be stories someday. But right now, we are alive. And in this moment, I swear, we are infinite.
police officer to Brian Taylor. This is my partner, Officer Zavala. I'm in my chonies. I know, dude. Come on, come on. I'm in my chonies. No, 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 no. Come on, man. We were basic patrol here at Newton, one of the toughest divisions in the LAPD. Take pride in what you do, you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Try to run, try to run. Pit him, man. Pit him, pit him. Boom! You know, I see you guys out here being good little company, man. It's all fun and games. You get to run and jump and fight and shoot. I'm down with that. Watch your six. Everybody here is family. You know I love you, man. I would lay down my life for you, dude. Hey, partner, what's up? I want to have a daughter, man. That'd be so cool. Just don't let her date cops. She's not dating anyone. OK, ever. <laughs> 105 North Avenue, 52. Third Sanctuary 13, Roger. What are we looking for again? Dope money and guns. Hablas ingles o español? Good! You good, partner? I'm good. What? You got more bling than the old lady's wedding ring. That guy is into something. You're not a detective. Follow me into the house. Policia! Uh, oh, my God. Careful. You just tugged on the tail of the snake. It's gonna turn around and bite you back. You think I know we're rolling up on? Every day feels the heat in the city. Like the... Put your hands over your head. Get up. The cartels are operating here. They operate by a different set of rules. So why do they call you Big Evil? Because my evil's big. You're my brother. If anything happened to you, I would take care of your kids. Word is, we got a hit on y'all, man. Y'all been greenlit. We're cops. Everybody wants to kill us. Whoa, 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 whoa. 13 X-ray 13, suspect running on foot. Look at me. We're shooting our way out of here, bro. Okay. On three, dude. You're gonna empty your mag and run. One, two, three. Hey, what's hi. this? Can you tell me you took him out? The court out? said yes. Yeah, but what did the doctor say? Can I do an interview for a school project on mental illness? No. I'm ready. I feel motivated. I don't feel so angry all the time. The whole time you're rooting for this Hemingway guy to survive the war and to be with the woman that he loves. It's four o'clock in the morning, Pat. I can't apologize. I will apologize on behalf of Ernest Hemingway because that's who's to blame here. Yeah, have Ernest Hemingway call us and apologize to us, too. Pat, you have to have a strategy. I hate my illness and I want to control it. I hope you're okay with Veronica's sister coming over. Tiffany and Tommy? Just Tiffany. What happened to Tommy? He died. How'd he die? Please, don't bring it up. Hey, Tiffany. This is Pat. You look nice. Thank you. How'd Tommy die? Oh. What meds are you on? I used to be on lithium and Seroquel. I was on Xanax. You ever take Klonopin? Klonopin, yeah. yeah. I guess I was. I'm tired, I wanna go. Are you gonna walk me home or what? You have poor social skills. You have a problem. I have a problem? Mm -hmm. You say more inappropriate things than appropriate things. Doc, she's crazy. Kay. Whoa, what the hell? She knew where I was, she followed me. Then why don't you run somewhere else? Calm down, crazy. Maybe she just needs a friend. You wanna have dinner at this diner? Pick me up at 7.30. So how's your job? I just got fired, actually. Oh, really? How? By having sex with everybody in the office. Everybody? I was very depressed after Tommy died. We don't have to talk about it. Thanks. How many were there? Oh, she's a mess. You gotta be careful. She does a lot of therapy. I go to a lot of therapy. Am I messed up? I just gotta get a strategy, you know? Me too. So there's this dance thing. I can only do it if I have a partner. Oh, I'm here. not gonna dance with you. So is this the girl you wrote about? You wrote about me? She's fine. She is my friend with an F. A capital F. She's my Poor friend. What are you so up about? I'm happy. Look, I'm my best self today, and I think she's her best self, and that's a good thing. Lost in my mind. Lost in my mind. Oh, I know you don't want to listen to your father. I didn't listen to mine. But when life reaches out with a moment like this, it's a sin if you don't reach back. Oh, I this is what I believe to be true. You have to do everything you can. And if you stay positive, you have a shot at a silver lining. Looks good, doesn't it? Wait till you see the whole movies. Uh, there is one more film announcement we want to make to this morning, and that is our opening night film. 
Now, I know there's been some wagering on what would open the festival this year, and there's been some speculation online. We're thrilled to announce that the film kicking off the 37th Toronto International Film Festival is Ryan Johnson's Looper. We're great fans of Ryan Johnson's work and style. This futuristic action thriller is a tale of hitmen, time travel, and the inevitability of our nature. The film stars Bruce Willis, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Emily Blunt. Looper is original, it's edgy, you can't take your eyes off it, and I think it perfectly sets the tone for this year's festival. We have a clip to share with you from our opening night film. Time travel has not yet been invented, but 30 years from now, it will have been. I am one of many specialized assassins in our present called loopers. So when criminal organizations in the future need someone gone, they zap them back to me, and I eliminate the target from the future. Oh la la. Loopers are well paid. We live the good life. And the only rule is, never let your target escape. Even if your target is you. I'm gonna fix this! I'm gonna fight! I'm gonna kill him! We will have many more films to announce over the next few weeks. Uh, we are thankful to all the filmmakers, producers, and industry partners for bringing these films to Toronto. We'd like to thank you for entrusting us with the launch of so many of these films. We would be remiss if we didn't thank and acknowledge our founders. Um, Bill Marshall, Bill is actually here with us today. Uh, Hank van der Kolk and Dusty Cole. And I think that uh, Dusty's uh, widow, Joan Cole, is here this morning with us as well. Um, so a big round of applause for our founders. Thank you for joining us. As well, we wish to thank our dedicated staff, our board of directors, all the members and volunteers whose talent, commitment, and love of film inspire us and drive our success. Thank you all for coming this morning. We'd be pleased to take questions from members of the media in the room and from those who have joined us online. So if you are a member of the media and have a question, please come up to one of the microphones here at each side of the cinema and uh, we would ask that you identify yourself and the outlet that you are uh, representing. Hello, I'm Sanjeev with I Love Film. Can you tell us more about the um development of the host city Mumbai and some of the films that you'll be playing and and what we should expect. We'll be announcing the films in the city to city Mumbai section on July 31st so just one week from now so stay tuned for that. Um, I was in India recently it's a great year for uh, films from Mumbai so just look forward to announcing the titles on Tuesday. Anyone else? Is this a new tip that we're seeing this year? 
Um, these are our galas and special presentations, so they are typically our biggest red carpet films featuring some of the biggest stars in the world, but not just uh, Hollywood stars. It's a very diverse mix of galas in particular this year from uh, more than six countries. I think we've got galas from Denmark and China and, and uh, Japan. Um, and Italy. So uh, it's a really diverse mix, but you will see our biggest uh, star power with this announcement every year because the galas and special presentations are typically where those films will play. Yeah, I don't think it uh, marks any change at all, to be honest, Linda. Um, having gone through the program, seen as many of the films as Cameron has, I mean, you're announcing films from people like Lu Chuan, Marco Bellocchio, the, uh, the great masters from around the world, European cinema, Asian cinema, Latin American cinema, we absolutely represented at the festival. It would be a very diverse cross-section. Yes, we've announced in the gala program two documentaries, um, Free Angela and All Political Prisoners. This is the story of Angela Davis, the very well-known uh, American activist, former Black Panther. Um, and also um, Love, Marilyn, the uh, story of uh, Marilyn Monroe, and in the special presentation section, Venus and Serena, about the Williams sisters. Those are three documentaries, but there is a full announcement of the entire documentary, uh, documentary selection in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, maybe we should emphasize, this is just a small selection of films. We are announcing about 50 films today. Uh, over 16, we've got a lot more coming, so. Stay tuned for the rest of the sections. Today it's galas and special presentations. It's about a quarter of the festival, I guess, we're announcing. Yeah. Do we need people to use the microphones? Is that preferable for everyone? Yeah, yeah. if you could use the, it'd be great if you could just thank you. Thank you, Rena. Hello, I'm yes. from Epoch Times. Uh, could you talk more about the, the Asian Film Summit, please? Sure. The, Asian, the Shangri-La Asian Film Summit will be an industry event. It will happen on Monday, September 10th at the new Shangri-La Hotel, which will open in, in a few weeks' time. Uh, and it's really a gathering of the, some of the key leaders in uh, the film industry from both the, the West and the East, an attempt to build bridges to bring people together, get them to know each other, discuss some of the pressing in, uh, issues in terms of working together between the two hemispheres. Uh, we've already announced that uh, Jackie Chan will be the guest of honor at the banquet that closes the summit. Uh, we have um, Chris Dodd, Senator Dodd, the head of the Motion Picture Association of America, is one of the announced guests as well. We'll be announcing a lot more in the days to come. Renu. Um, uh, since Mumbai is uh, 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 the city for the City to City program, do we expect to see more films from India this year or from the Indian subcontinent? You bet. Uh, there will be 10 films from Mumbai filmmakers in the City to City program, and we'll also have some films from India outside of City to City. So it will be, I think, the biggest selection of Indian films we have ever had at this festival. Thank you. Hi there. Uh, it's Justine from News Talk 1010 over here. Where can we find you? Uh, in the same spot that Rena just was in. Thank you. Hi. Uh, I have a question about the opening film. Can you expand on why you think Looper is a perfect fit? Uh, I believe that it's not a Canadian film. Can you just d explain why you chose that one as the opening gala? Um, a couple of years ago, we decided to change the policy of not necessarily having to open with a Canadian film. We're certainly looking around for Canadian films. So the last three years, I guess, we have actually opened with an international film. Um, I think Looper will set a very different, uh, a, a very important tone for the festival. Um, it's a genre film. It's a very smart genre film. Uh, it's a film that deals with cinema. It mixes a couple of genres, um, science fiction and the gangster movie. Um, it's a young filmmaker who I think is uh, a filmmaker for us to watch. We've had his, as Cam said, uh, these, his previous two films here at the festival. Um, and I think that for your opening night film, you want a film that actually commands the screen that is um, entertaining, that people really, really enjoy, and uh, get their heads into the rest of the festival. Thank you. Yes. Hey, Cameron, sorry, I'm reaching over. Meeting Reef from Global News. Um, Mumbai for city to city. Um, Indian mm. films get so much press and publicity around the world anyways. Was this um, a way of generating more um, um, foot traffic, perhaps, from Bollywood lovers, is that what we're supposed to expect from um, City to City this year? Because typically they're smaller films that mm -hmm. 
the general public may not be aware of? We really should have done a city to city press conference. <laughs> knew it. Um, we'll be announcing on Tuesday, so you'll get us uh, next Tuesday on the 31st, you'll get a sense of the full lineup. What I'm really looking for in that uh, section is a mix of films that are some of the more commercial films, but a lot of the independent films that have been uh, cropping up in the last few years. So stay tuned for Tuesday and we get all the news then. But should we expect Bollywood? Is that. Uh, well, we already have announced, actually, I, I don't know if you, you caught it, but in our announcement of galas today, uh, Gauri Shinde's, Shinde's film uh, English Vinglish with Sri Devi. So that is what you could call a Bollywood film, and that is playing as a gala with us. And then the, the city to city films we will announce uh, next Tuesday. Thanks. Good morning, JP from the French CBC News. Any French uh, production this year? <coughs> Documentaries or films? or? We have a very strong French lineup. Um, those Films will be announced in future press conferences, but um, it's a wonderful mix, actually, some of the great, great French filmmakers um, who you will all recognize, as well as some of the new young talent filmmakers who you won't otherwise recognize. We announced Laurent Cantet's film today, Foxfire. It's really an English language film. Uh, Laurent's one of the key, key French filmmakers, won the Palme d'Or a couple of years ago for the class. Um, so that was, an, uh, I guess, the only um, French associated oh, film we announced. Today. We also have the Jacques Audiard film, uh, Rust and Bone, that was at Cannes with Marion Cotillard, which is beautiful. Piers and I saw it at the Cannes Film Festival. Costa, Costa Gavras' film, Costa Capital. Uh, the yeah. Francois Ozon film in the house as well with right. Christian Scott Thomas. So there's a, th we always have a very strong French selection. I think you can look forward to that again this year. Hi, Gunit from Filmy Cafe in Toronto. Cameron, um, this question's to you. So you mentioned English for English as featuring a part, as a part of the special presentations and galas. What was it that attracted you to featuring this film as part of this year's festival? I think the first thing that attracted me was Sri Devi herself. It's her comeback, as I'm sure you know. She is one of the legendary stars of the Indian cinema, and we have missed her on the screen, so it's great to see her back. And she's terrific in the film. She's completely compelling. Um, and gives a, a great performance. Uh, but then also it's a very international story. It's a story of a, a, a woman, a wife and mother in, uh, in India who doesn't speak English very well and is suddenly thrust into an English environment when she goes to New Jersey for a family wedding. And she has to learn some tools to empower herself. Uh, it's directed by a woman filmmaker as well, Gauri Shinde, and she does a terrific job. So it's a very entertaining film, very fun, uh, has got some empowering messages, I think, and it just seemed like the right fit for our gala selection. Yes. I know it's still early times, but uh, any confirmation from celebrities as to who will be gracing our carpets this year? Um, <laughs> or hopes? No. Hopeful. Well, we always no. have hopes. Um, and we've been fortunate enough to have uh, many of the uh, top actors from around the world attend the festival. Um, usually when a film is premiering here, they will attend. But we don't announce that until uh, later in August. So stay tuned for that. I think you can expect most of the people on this list, too want to be here in Toronto, as always. <laughs> Nicely phrased. <laughs> <laughs> Without giving away any names, of course. None of the names we mentioned today. Right. Any more all questions, right. or should we all just go and have a coffee? You know? <laughs> all right, I think we'll leave it there then. So thank you all for coming. Um, yeah. Sorry, was there one more question, or that's it? Thank you all for coming. It looks like it's a great lineup. So uh, we look forward thank to the you. next press conference. Mm -hmm.